Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Ron W. Satz, founder and chair of the International Society of Unified Science and president of TransPower Corporation, a commercial and custom software manufacturing and certified systems engineering company. I work as a theoretical physicist and as a systems and mechanical engineer. Today's screencast, as with most of my screencasts, will be on the reciprocal system, the microcosmos database. In previous screencasts, I've already covered uh, interatomic distance, valence, and specific heat. Now, not sure if the point is working correctly with screencast o matic with the 4K laptop. Anyway, I'm on the laptop, which is my workstation, because it has a Xeon processor, 82186M, with a 4.8 gigahertz boost clock. This is necessary for some of the layouts in this module. Whereas with the Macrocosmos database, you could get by with practically any Intel or AMD CPU. For this database module, the Microcosmos, it's recommended that you have a Xeon-based system. Otherwise, instead of three minutes, it may take 20 minutes or so. So let's load this in, energy and entropy. I'm going to time this by 138.30. So let's say it probably should take around three minutes to load. The reason for this is that it's doing a great deal of, co of computations. It's integrating the specific heat over temperature. And so that's the reason for the delay. It's, it's, it's very involved. Quantum mechanics is nothing comparable to this. What engineers have had to do in the past is to make use of regression equations for specific heat, and then those get integrated. This simple polynomial it just gets integrated to get enthalpy and entropy out. So at this point, you just would have to get a cup of coffee and relax while this is doing the computation. I'm not going to pause the video. I mean, I could, but you know, let's let's make sure that this is uh, you know really happening. In the meantime, you can look at the main menu here. You can see that this is the only database module you can buy, which covers all the major properties of the solid state, the liquid, vapor, and gas states. There's nothing like this for quantum mechanics. All of these are ab initio calculations, by the way, from the first principles. Uh, it, like I said in the past, the engineers had to use regression equations which are okay, I mean, they're, they're easy to use, but there's nothing theoretical about the polynomial regression equation, whereas everything in this module is based on the reciprocal system of theory. So it's a far superior way, and it, it helps to prove or verify the reciprocal system. I've done tens of thousands of calculations with the reciprocal system, and it works very, very, very well. Okay, and we're just going to have to just be patient while it does all the computations and displays the screen. Again, the, the pointer might not work with 4K uh, display with screencast o -matic, so you'll have to read the fields as I go along and not necessarily follow the pointer. I had that issue with last week with the specific heat layout. It's probably going to be the same with this energy and entropy layout.
patient. Okay, there it goes. Took a little bit longer than normal for some reason, but anyway, we're here. The top here is the same, the element or compound or the mix, the description, which is iron in this case, the form number, atomic molecular weight, melting temperature, thermal factors, and compressibility factors. Um, the heat sink is on this side, the heat source is on this side. So we're going from zero to 1000. And this is the delta. By the way, all temperatures are in Kelvin in, in this database module. Calculate the cubic centimeters of volume. This is per cell, of course, molecular and the aggregate. No difference in this case. At the heat source, you can see the volume is a little bit greater, solid expansion, of course, and there's the delta. Then we get the specific heat. Now, this stuff is also on um, the specific heat screen, of course. And uh, here we have like cal per mole per K, joule per mole per K, calorie per gram per K, and the deltas are here. Enthalpy is calculated here, and of course, at zero temperature, you'd expect it to be, to be zero, so it is. The heat source, big change, all these are at 1,000. This calorie per mole, joule per mole, calorie per gram, same thing with the deltas, which would, of course, be the same since these are all zero. And then I calculate the Carnot efficiency and the available effectiveness, which is 100%. So if you can get... If you can run a thermal cycle and go down to zero K, you can have 100% effectiveness, which is nice. That's the available energy, that's the unavailable energy. And uh, here's the entropy for the heat sink, which is of course zero, here's the heat source. And then down here I have, for the different stages of the specific heat curve, I have the values. Uh, for cal per mole per K, this is for entropy, of course. And here's the mean CP for enthalpy and entropy right here. Okay, then I have a few bonus fields down here, static friction coefficient, uh, sliding coefficient of friction, and some notes. Uh, that's, of course, you know, the regular notes are here. And then, as with all of my labs, I have the created by and on and modified by and on. So I was working on this, like, originally on 2007. Wow. Uh, okay, so uh, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I'm going to hit close. 
and looks like looks like my webcam shut down. Hopefully everything else is going. Anyway, please study the reciprocal system and prove it for yourself. For the simplest possible description of the theory, please obtain my work, The Unmysterious Universe, only 80 pages, has all the concepts, very little in the way of math. Lots of diagrams, really easy to understand. But if you do want all the mathematics, please obtain my work, Existence and Interactions, a Computational Treatise of the Reciprocal System, the True Theory of Everything. Thousands and thousands of equations, 711 pages long in the PDF file, 711 slides in the PowerPoint file. Uh, it'll take you months to go through that. And then, of course, you could get the two database modules, including the Microcosmos database and the Macrocosmos database. The Macrocosmos database has the calculations and properties for the universe as a whole, galaxy clusters and groups, galaxies star clusters, stars, planets, moons, minor bodies like asteroids and comets, nebulae, gas and dust, and voids. So the whole system is very comprehensive, and uh, I hope you eventually get everything that we have, and then I'll really be an expert on the reciprocal system. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thanks for your attention.